Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotional. We're glad to have you listening with us. Today's topic is finding hope again. We'll return with the devotional after a brief message from our sponsor. Is life feeling chaotic? I get it. I'm Rachel Wojo, host of the Untangling Life podcast. Don't miss the passionate encouragement and faith-based resources you need to help you clear your head and calm your heart. As Shell says, it feels like Rachel always knows what I need to hear. She keeps it real and is so humble. Her podcast is just the cherry on top. Enjoy Untangling Life with Rachel Wojo on lifeaudio.com or your favorite podcast app now. The Historical Jesus Podcast is the sweeping saga of the life and times of Galilean Jesus of Nazareth, as well as the faith, religion, and church founded to honor and disseminate His acts and teachings. Join me, Mark Vinette, on this fascinating journey through time, exploring the many great works of Christian theology, literature, architecture, music, and art inspired by the words and deeds of Jesus Christ. Finding Hope Again Written by Aaron DeAnthony Brown Read by Rochelle Alberti We know that all things work together for the good of those who love God, who are called according to His purpose. Romans 8, 28 Longing for the End In the midst of suffering, we often want to escape, to distract ourselves, to lighten the load. At our worst, we want to die. Suffering is difficult, and though we can often see the merits once the hardship is passed, We would much rather have control over how we suffer, when, and how long. Without those elements, we struggle. Without those elements, we are tempted to despair. Yet God's Word informs us that our suffering serves a purpose. His purpose. Though we long to end our toils, God's Word indicates that our struggles have meaning. Meaning that often eludes our understanding in the moment. Giving advice to someone else who's in a predicament usually comes easy. We offer them not only potential solutions, but clarity. When the roles are reversed, however, even after we hear someone's suggestions, confusion remains. The situation can leave our perspective clouded, and the more dire the situation, or the longer the suffering lasts, the greater our angst. We lose hope figuring our best days are behind us. Thankfully, this is not true. Our suffering will not last always, and our best days can lie ahead. But first, we have to change our perspective. With a change in perspective, our longing for the end can become hope for a new beginning. Intersecting Faith and Life Biblical hope can be described as optimism about the future that is rooted in God. There are a myriad of verses preaching the importance of hope, but we don't always know how to attain such a mindset, especially when we feel distant from the Lord. Here are several things we ought to do if we want to change our perspective and find hope again. Pray. If we want to connect with God, then we have to talk to Him. Whatever you're going through and however you feel, God wants to talk to you. He wants to talk even if you feel betrayed, angry, saddened, or disappointed because of Him. As a loving Father, He is available to listen at any time to your open and honest dialogue. Read. When we want to know what God thinks about a certain subject, we can read His Word. Scripture outlines for us many tenets and wise ways to live life. The Bible also helps us understand the need for hope. Without believing in God's promise for the future, we find ourselves stuck in a dour present and dread anything that comes with the future. 
worship. Sometimes we pray, and sometimes we read, and our innermost feelings still don't change. What helps is to find other ways to worship, such as through song and dance. Listening to the lyrics another believer has created gives us a chance to see God from someone else's perspective, which could serve as a helpful foil to our own. Or the words simply give us a new perspective on a situation. When we dance, we give our minds a rest from the deep sinking and stress and simply exist with God in the moment. Give thanks. An attitude of gratitude prevents us from growing bitter even when we struggle throughout life. In fact, gratitude helps us remember how the Lord provides for us and other people. Thanksgiving also serves to keep us humble, knowing that what we have is not to be taken for granted, no matter how bleak life may seem. Confess. Our natural tendency is to blame external reasons for why we do not have hope. But if we're being truthful, sometimes we are the reason for our misfortune. When we take the time to look inward, we recognize the ways in which we impede our own progress, and we learn to stop blaming other people or God for our problems. Be humble. The proud believe in themselves, but the humble believe in God. The humble also take the time to remember the suffering of others. When we do so, we keep in perspective that our situation could always be worse. Learn. Being teachable is crucial to the life of a believer. If we are to follow God wholeheartedly, we have to be willing to grow, to trade in old ideas for new and holier ones. We are a sinful people, and sin naturally leads to death, and if not death, then despair. God offers a better alternative, but he gives us the free will to choose. Keep trying. There will be times when we want to stop trying. There may be many times, in fact, but if God's promises are true, then we can count on them being fulfilled. We have no authority over when, but we can have the confidence in God that what he says will come to pass. The suffering we face today is arduous, but as Paul said, our present day problems are not worth comparing. The glory of God will be revealed. Further reading and listening. Romans 8, 18. Psalm 13. Psalm 23, 1 through 4. Hebrews 11, 1. Romans 15, 13. Jeremiah 29, 11. Real Love by Kurt Franklin. All Things Are Working by Fred Hammond. The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Hey everybody, I'm Dale. And I'm Tamara. We're hosts of the Kainos Project podcast. Where we help you tackle ancient Christian truths in everyday settings. To learn more and subscribe, go to lifeaudio.com.